We've also taken a, another short. Uh, here's the 20-second uh, premium chart. And this level down here found support at 93.25. But we believe overall uh, this market is short today. Uh, let's take a couple of reason, uh, looks at why we believe so. Fair value is up here at 440. Okay, just draw a line there for you. Fair value is at 440. Now, the fair value line is not in and of itself giving us any very specific reasons to, to expect a short here. But if you look at where the premium has been, all right, we came down to this low in the premium here right before the low of the day. We've had a few instances of rallies uh, based upon what we see here on the premium. We have another lower high right in here. But since the market has moved up from this point, Overall, the premium is showing us coming down. And this low on the premium right there, okay, which is what we referred to earlier at 96.50. When we tested 96.50, we had lows on the premium developing again. Here, and the premium has come down again here. So since we're not seeing any new highs developing, we're really expecting that this market will continue to drop. There's nothing on the premium here that suggests we're going back up. Instead, coming down. So on that basis, this area around 93.25 could easily be tested. There's another compelling reason when you look at a composite profile. On the composite profile shown here, the area of support takes us all the way down to 94.5, right in here. If we should drop below that, well, then this will continue to drop. But right in here, from this spot in here at 97.75, which is where we are right now, down to 94.5, we can see that the, actually the more we drop, the more historical activity we've had. So for example, right down in here to 95, 25, the more we drop, the greater the volume has been. So certainly a move down to 95 and a quarter is, is uh, very likely. And then likely it will continue to drop right here to about 94 and a half before it considers going any further. So that's where we expect this market's going to go. Above 97.75 there's not much. Below 97.75 there's actually greater activity. So 94 and a half looks like a fairly good place for the market to drop. And then if we compare that with the Dow, right now we're at 18,074. And as we drop,
all the way into 18,064, which is down here. If we get much below that, then we may continue to drop further. But that's the area right here where the market has seen the greatest amount of historical volume and support, at least in the most recent time frame. Now we've just dropped to 95 and a half. ninety four seventy five would be our target right there Now, looking at a potential if we come down to 18,064 potentially uh, the Dow could find some support and rally up but by the time it hits that we should be getting down to 94.75 which is where we expected the spoons to go right down to this line. So it depends on who gets there first. Now if we get into ninety five twenty five. then we should continue on down to 94.75. So we've got to, we've got to drop below 95.25. And the Dow is right into that level at 65 at the moment, 18,065. We're now to 64.93. And we can pretty well tell whether that's going to happen. All right. See how our indicators are pointing up right in here? All right, we just made it to 94.75 and we're out. We've got a divergent bar on the premium here. didn't make it to a new low and this could result in us going back up a bit we'll just dispose of that position in its entirety. We looked to take a little bit of a bounce there at uh, uh, 94.75, but we did we just pulled uh, any trade that we had at that point. So another good trading opportunity of just taking this little drop down to an area of possible support. Dow has dropped lower and so a strong possibility that we're going to drop further <clears throat> on the ES as well. But that's our recording for, for the moment. This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk.